Hi everybody, this is your reading for Thursday the 30th of March. Let's have a look at what's coming up for you today. And I'm using the classic tarot. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Okay, so Queen of Cups is someone who feels good emotionally, who's in a good place, who is doing things that she enjoys. She's spending time with people she cares about and who she loves. Um, she feels positive. There's a sense of abundance and prosperity involved and a sense of friendship and togetherness. That is interrupted by the Ten of Swords, which is about external news coming in, which aren't particularly positive, um, being betrayed or backstabbed by another human being, or by circumstances coming in, which really um, are an obstacle and a challenge and which you have to work to overcome. Finally, we've got the Five of Swords, and that indicates even having to work with people that you don't particularly like or trust so that you can get yourself out of a situation which has appeared in your life. Okay, so it's really a shift from being in a passive role of just enjoying and being grateful for the good things that you have in your life and actually being in a situation where something comes up that has to be dealt with that you then deal with. You kind of put your feelings aside a little bit and you try and resolve the issue best you can despite there being conflict and despite there being difficulties in the atmosphere or in the air it seems like there's some sort of news that's coming your way that you need to deal with and that's going to demand your attention so don't worry about having to do it by yourself if there are people you can work with even if you're if you haven't always been best friends then it's better to connect with other people to resolve whatever issue comes up and to do it in the here and the now not to procrastinate and to put it off for another time but to deal with the issues as they come along on this day and if you do that you can return to this place of emotional resilience and being in a good positive place it's just literally about these these are all sword cards so it's just literally thinking about what's going on using your mind your experience uh, your knowledge to look at the best way forward to do that in the most efficient and easiest and less problematic and most simple way possible moving ahead with it solving whatever the issue is if it's between two people and you're you happen to be their boss or if it happens to be uh, news on your stock investments or if it's news about employment then all you can really do is accept what is, think about what your options are, and get busy with what's next. So the acceptance will come quickly, and it's best if it comes quickly. What you're supposed to look at is the action that you can take to make things secure again, so that, that you can get to a place of emotional equilibrium and peace. Number wise, we've got the queen. So she is a one because she's a court card. Then 10. 1 and 10 is 11, and 5 is 16, 1 and 6 is 7, and 7 in numerology is about the mind and creativity, okay? So accept what comes your way, use your ideas and your experience to think of a way forward and a positive way to move ahead, and you'll be able to get a lot of um, problems dealt with, you'll be able to overcome lots of hurdles that stand in your path and move ahead in a really positive light. It may even bring you closer with other people who you haven't been with as close to in the past. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you do get some flashes of inspiration which help you out alongside what's going on in your life at the moment. I hope you have a great day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to audio reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.